All right, welcome to part five of our video tutorial on our Fender Stratocaster neck build. So in this video, I'm gonna draw a few more curves. I'm gonna draw our bottom curve and draw some connecting curves. So to do our bottom curve, first thing I'm gonna do is go over which one it is. It's this one here. If we look at it from the side profile, we're gonna go up a little bit. We're gonna follow it all the way up to the headpiece. So to start this, I'm going to go into top view, select our curve tool, make sure near is on. I'm going to drop it right on there. Now I'm going to turn it off so that we can go into right view. And now basically I'm just going to trace out uh, our tracing curve that we did in purple there. I'm going to have to alter it a bit. I'm going to have to bring it a little closer. I'm going to go back into top view. Turn near on, and I'm going to drop it right on the center there. So looking at that in perspective now, you can see it has a nice curve that follows the same one as bottom line. So I'm going to go ahead and Turn those tracing lines off for now because we don't need them right now. And now I'm going to go over a few more uh, lines that are going to help us out in drawing our uh, blueprint here. So first what I'm going to do is just uh, at the back, I'm going to draw any line that connects our top to our bottom. Press enter, make sure it's nice and straight. And I'm going to do the same thing at the front here. Just a straight line going down. There we go. So as you can see, it's starting to kind of take a little bit 3D shape right now. We're going to use these lines to help break up our top polyline that we drew. Uh, but before we do that, I'm going to go over the curve that we need to create uh, to have that nice rounded uh, back to the neck. So looking at this view right here. We're going to have to draw between here and here. And to help us out, I'm going to go to top view first. I'm going to draw a curve that has one control point between the middle, intersects there. Another control point, falls down, press enter. Now looking in the front view, as well as perspective first, uh, we want it to be a nice rounded, uh, comfortable hand grip for ourselves here. And we also want to make sure that it falls perfectly on this line. Actually, we're going to do it in two separate pieces to save ourselves some time later. So I'm just going to go ahead and redo that really quick. And do one, two, three, press enter. Make sure the point tool is on. I'm going to turn control points on for our first one. One, two, three. So the reason I did that was to make sure that our points actually fell exactly on this line. Uh, as we talked about in our original video, um, the intro video, when I, when I was doing the squares, we want to make sure that our points fall perfectly on the line and uh, don't just kind of graze by using the near tool. We want them to actually intersect that point there. So now I'm going to go into front view. I'm going to turn control points on for this line as well. And now I'm just manually 
going to give it a nice rounded edge. And I want it to match up as well as I can get it. So in order to do that, uh, we could measure our control points here. Um, but you can actually see pretty well uh, with these dotted lines exactly where the control points are. So I'm just going to bring mine down and now they match up. Look at it and I think that looks pretty good. View it in perspective view. I think that looks pretty good. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the same thing in the front as well. So we're going to go into top view. And we're going to draw it So I want to make sure it's behind uh, this part here where it starts to dip down. So in order to do that, I'm just going to set my first uh, point in perspective view so I can see if it falls behind that. So it's right there. So I'm just going to scroll up. Knowing that it falls right there, I'm just going to drop control point there. And then I'm going to go back into top view. One in the middle, one there, and complete it. Turn control points on, one on the point, one in the middle, and on the outline and complete that. And now I'm going to go into front view again and do the same thing using the gumball tool. Going straight down, I'm going to do this one as well. And as you can see, because the neck tapers. So I'm going to top view. So from the bottom here to the top here, it tapers in. You can see here, because we're lining up there. So I'm just gonna give it a nice rounded edge again. Turn control points on here too. Give it a nice rounded edge. Turn our points off and have a look at it in perspective view. So there we go, that's basically exactly what we wanted. So in our next video, uh, what we're gonna talk about is how we're gonna split our model up. Uh, Cause to create a curved network, we can't have any more than four items and we have to have more than two. So I'm gonna go over splitting our objects up using the trim tool and then we'll be creating a surface on top of them.